Hi Virgo. So very interesting. Uh, we start again with the Four of Swords, which has been coming up quite a bit for many of the signs. And this is a card of, of finding time to be taken out of a situation that you need to take a step back. You need to re-energize, you need to restore your energy, whether you do it through prayer, through meditation, through yoga, through nature walks. This is an opportunity for you to leave a situation and get yourself back together spiritually, physically, and mentally, emotionally, so that you can come back and deal with whatever it is that you're dealing with. And so there's always a sense of, of that it doesn't make the problem go away, but it does uh, give you a chance maybe to have a fresh approach. So this is taking care of yourself. You're, in April, you're going to have to find some time for you to catch up on your energy levels and to restore your energy levels. And with that Four of Swords, we have more air energy, which is this Eight. Eight of Swords. And we see the woman here. She's bound. She's blindfolded. She's standing before this puddle with the swords behind her. And this is about uh, you having a hard time making a choice or seeing a situation, a situation, allowing yourself to see the truth of a situation. You may be in a place where you don't want to deal with something. And so thus the blindfold, thus the feeling bound. You may feel restricted. You may feel trapped. You may feel that uh, you're being put upon, that there's some stresses that are being placed on you and demands that are entrapping you. And this Four of Swords might be that you need a break from this situation. So the thing to think about with this Eight of Swords is that she can easily strip that blindfold off. She could easily take off the, the binds. She could walk away. Is that ultimately you come to a place where you're going to have to make a decision. You might have to um, open your eyes. You might have, to, might have to face the truth. And that's just the way that life goes sometimes, is that you have to deal with some things. You can't just keep putting it off. Ultimately, you have to, you have to be wide open to, to hear the information. And you may not be ready now. You may not be ready for whatever messages or things that you just simply don't want to deal with. But having said that, the good news is that there is a lot of good news here with these cards for you in April. And that's with the lovers. And the lovers is a card of two people uh, probably meant to find each other. There's intimacy. There's bonding, friendship. Uh, just um, the joy of being with each other. This is a potential relationship that can transform your life. They can have great significance. So the lovers often indicates a decision. So is this, you know, you may be thinking, is this the person for me? Is this a healthy relationship for me? Do we have the same ideas and the same beliefs? You know, you may be going through all these things in your head and if you are not looking for a relationship, certainly the lovers can go to emotionally connected relationships. They could be very strong and uh, emotionally deep relationships, friendships, business partnerships, family relationships. It certainly doesn't have to be sexual. It doesn't have to be always about romance. This is about people who are really connected so the decisions that you make seem that in April are going to work out for you in whatever terms of this relationship. And again, if you're in a relationship, if you're already married, this is also the opportunity to come together even more to really build and develop your bond, your happiness together, because this Ace of Pentacles is simply fantastic. The Ace of Pentacles is, let me move this wire here. This Ace of Pentacles is 
a card of abundance and of prosperity and of joy. It says if the universe is handing you this coin to say, use some of my talents, my pentacle talents of common sense, of planning, of being um, practical, you know, use these things, think about it, plant your seeds, nurture them, and they're going to bring you prosperity. But prosperity is more than just having financial security at home. This prosperity goes to your good health, your happy relationships, your happiness in life. It's one of the best cards to have in tarot, in the 78 cards that there are. Simply powerful and happy, and it's where it's situated. It's situated underneath, it's with the lovers, and it's next to the Ten of Pentacles, which we'll get to that. So we also have the Emperor, and the Emperor is uh, this energy of someone who is fair, who is a leader, who is skilled, masterful in making decisions. Often we like to relate this to a father type of archetype. Um, whether it's a father, whether it's a female who is, um, really has it all together. This is a benevolent king. I'm sorry, emperor. <laughs> Similar. Um, but this emperor is here to help. He's here perhaps to give you some structure, to help you get organized in April. And uh, he likes structure and he likes things to run smoothly. And that's what his goal is in, in ruling fairly and ruling with all these people below him is that he is going to be mindful of the greater good. So if you need advice, if you need counseling, if you need someone to talk to about finances, about, uh, you know, investments or property or what have you, the emperor is a nice choice because he knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's doing. With the emperor, we have the 10 of pentacles. And again, this is a card of legacy of family. So April could be a month where you are paying attention to family finances. You are thinking about investments. Maybe you're socking away money for a child's education, uh, family vacations, but here is a sense of taking care. This is taking care of the family. You see the different, you have to see the dogs, you see the young couple, the older patriarch, the child, the child. This is looking out, you're working for the benefit of your family. This could also involve caretaking, that if you're, care, uh, if you're responsible for taking care of an elder or someone within a family, then we would often see the Ten of Pentacles, but there's a sense here to pay attention to your budget. Pay attention to your statements, your investment statements. Pay attention to the money coming in and out. And the emperor could be saying, get a little more structured and organized with your finances here. That, And of course, April's tax month in the U.S. And maybe that relates to many people having to pull together information for their taxes. So as we go through April, we have the sun... And the sun is a great card. The sun is a card of finding your inspiration, your high energy and your radiance, uh, simply by uh, appreciating what the world has to offer and the world and the universe offers us the sun. And the sun provides our life force. The sun provides us with um, this carefree energy. It's revitalizing. It's when they say to soak up the sun, you're soaking up the rays. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel uh, better and, and the desiring to do things. This sun is also indicative of, of abundance with these sunflowers here and of pursuing your passions with the red cape, this big cape or sash. And... Uh, you know, when I see the sun, I would say to all Virgos, and that's a matter of let your light shine to others. And uh, when you do that, you, you set your light out into the world. People notice that. People are attracted 
to people who illuminate others. So with the sun, we have the three of pentacles. The three of pentacles is one of the group cards in tarot. So you see this um, builder here, he's working on the cathedral and he has some people giving, giving him either advice or instructions or uh, feedback, whatever it may be. Okay, they could be the client or they could be working with him. This is working towards a common goal, working unified, using all of your skills and your abilities to build something beautiful. So if this was a metaphor for a relationship, this would be building a beautiful relationship. And it would be sustaining here with this Ace of Pentacles and with the happiness within the family with the Ten of Pentacles. This uh, Three of Pentacles is really about showing your skill, displaying your skill, you may not be recognized yet, but ultimately you will. There's no doubt that you're talented enough to do what it is that you hope to do. With the Three of Pentacles, it also could suggest that you're gonna be maybe taking some additional courses or workshops to help um, you know, improve your skill set. You may be having meetings with several people, but there's a sense here that this, here we, we go through this rest we go through family, relationships, being organized, being inspired to nuts and bolts of really working together toward a common goal, getting things done, building something. Could be certainly, again, you're working hard and you're contributing and building to your family legacy. But Virgo, there's a lot to like here for you. There's a little piece here with this not wanting to look at a situation. You might be feeling trapped or restricted. But once you're able to resolve that, and perhaps you resolve it through meditation, through prayer, through uh, deep thinking or restful thinking, then you have this opportunity for deep transformative relationship that's emotionally powerful and connecting. You have success and prosperity and happiness and good health. You have good decisions. You have someone in your corner who's helping you, perhaps, or is reminding you to get organized, get some structure in your life, and that's going to help benefit your family and your overall happy, happy with the sun. It's a lot of happiness with the sun card. And these group activities as well. Your, it's your skill. It's your ability to build something beautiful. You're able to put it together and to listen to the feedback and the information that you get from these folks here. So, really nice. Now, what don't we see? We don't see cups in this reading. Interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose a love card. Virtue, you acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. And that's a lovely card to have virtue, to treat people with uh, respect, uh, to do the right thing. Loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. That's really kindness of heart, is when you are not only taking care of yourself, but taking care of others. There's something very powerful with, with that. And, uh, you know, it's, again, illuminating your light with the sun. There's a sense of illuminating your goodness to others. And finally, to close the reading, I'm going to choose an oracle card as a practice area or a place to meditate. Fertility. Pan, fertility. So fertility for some may be the literal thing, hoping to be with child or to bring a child into the world. But often, we often think of fertility as the birth of new ideas, of having your mind and your visions and your desires as a fertile landscape where we 
develop, we develop good things in our life. We bring them into fruition. We nurture them, we feed them and we take care of them. And some work out, some ideas that we bring to birth and we bring out, some work and some don't. But this fertile mind and this fertility is uh, the it's richness of soil to allow something to grow and to grow well. So Virgo, I hope that you found something here that resonate, resonates with you. And if you did, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, we have a wonderful community and I often engage with folks in comments, ask me any questions. I'm happy to answer. And I thank you so much for taking the time to watch this reading. I truly do appreciate it. I hope you have a fantastic April. I wish you the very best, and I hope to see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.